talk about here with blocking punches is going to be what's called a shield block or a shell block. So what you're going to do here uh, with your opponent, actually come over here real quick Tyler. What you're going to want to do is you want to take your guard here and you're going to bring it into your head. So picture you're wearing a helmet with your, with your gloves here. You're going to take your fingertips, place them on your head. Your thumbs are going to be placed on your temple here and you're going to pull your hands together. Only your uh, pinky should be touching. You're going to place it right here. And then from there, you're going to bring your elbows in and see how I have this little, uh, this little space here. I'm going to look through that space. What I don't want to do is look down at the ground and do this. So if Tyler's hitting me here and I look down at the ground here like this, I can't see what's coming and I'm going to get tore up. I'm going to become a punching bag. So I don't want that. I want to make sure that I'm looking forward. My chin is still tucked, but I'm looking forward. So when he goes to throw his punches, I can see what's coming here, and then I can go right into counters, okay? So it's very important you're keeping your eyes open during this drill. So when he's throwing jab crosses, I'm just gonna bring my hands up here like this here, and I can move them a little bit. I don't wanna stay completely static, because then what happens here is it pushes me on my back leg and I get pushed off balance. So I wanna kinda move my hands just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, all right? Now, for the hooks, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this glove here, go ahead and throw a rear hook, and I'm gonna bring it here just like that, okay? We'll show, uh, if you want to come around the other angle here. Um, so if he's throwing the lead hook here, he goes and throws the lead hook here, I'm going to almost grab my ear so that that hook doesn't wrap around and hit me in, in, in the side of the head where my temple or my ear is at. Okay, so for straight punches, I'm just going to shell up here, all right, and then the hooks here, I'm going to grab my ear. Now it's very important, after, after they're done striking, okay, I want to make sure that my hands are out here. I don't want to keep my guard up the whole time here like this because I, it's gonna put me on defense the whole time and I wanna make sure that my hands are up ready so I can defend or so I can attack also, okay? So as soon as my opponent comes in and they hit me, I wanna come out here, okay? All right, after they're done striking, I wanna make sure my hands are out here. Now normally what we're gonna do is we're gonna counter out of that. We'll go over a, a video on that later. But for right now, if your hands are up here, somebody goes to strike you in the head, all right, you're gonna pull those hands up here just like that. Make sure you settle your weight down just a little bit and you want 50% on each leg. Very important where my feet are at during this, dur during this because if my feet are here squared up and he goes to punch me here, I'm gonna fall back. If my feet are here bladed here and he goes to punch me here and he throws a hook, okay, it's gonna push me to the side. So I need to make sure my feet are nice and grounded when I'm doing this drill. Good. Just like that, go ahead one more time. And see, I come right back to guard. I don't stay in that position. I don't want to be a victim. I want to get right back into attacking position, okay?